My name's Rob Langtree. I'm the Global Chief Strategy and Marketing Officer for AWI Woolmark. I think over the period up until about 2010, uh, the wool industry had been pretty much out of touch with the marketing side of its, its activity. The sports stars, men's style fashion, 2015. Um, I've been working with sports stars in the last year. Uh, Alessandro Di Piero, the footballer, loved what you did. Why did you use him as one of your campaigns? So Alessandro Del Piero is arguably the most respected um, soccer football player in the world. Um, he's Italian, which helps. Um, he has a, a significant appreciation of quality menswear, uh, does understand the product. He's fairly unique in that he grew up playing um, very high profile for an Italian um, soccer team and chose to spend the latter part of his career in Australia. He played for uh, an Australian football team. Um, so he became very familiar with Bull when he was down here. And we were talking to him one day and he said, look, I really love the fibre, I love the product. And that's what we look for in someone who's an ambassador. They need to really genuinely believe that, that the product's worthwhile. Um, Alessandro, as it happens, has a huge following through Europe. Um, he's very popular. He was mobbed last time we had him over in China. Um, he's just completed a season playing in India. Um, and I think he's probably playing in the US. So he, he's a very sincere, well-spoken um, advocate of using wool in, in menswear. The other thing he does is he helps us demonstrate the more performance-oriented technical um, benefits of wool. So the flexibility, the stretch recovery, a, a lot of those things, the, the um, thermal regulation, he's very comfortable demonstrating those. And, and that's what we did in the, uh, the ad that was shot for us by uh, Oliviero Toscani. Um, was to actually demonstrate him bouncing around on a trampoline and stretching. It was a little bit like what Paul Smith did with the, with the travel suit. Right. Um, so to that, really bring the benefits to life. So um, let's talk about Murino wool for a moment. Let's talk about, because um, I was at Barcelona Fashion Week, I did London Collection Men. It's all about everyday practical fashion for men and for women. We cr we're, it's all about movement. You know, um, I think uh, and Nike, Nike and all them are really, you know, dominating this. So, yeah, yeah. Um, Moreno, can we talk a little bit about the technology of that? Well, Moreno wool is, is um, really the breed of sheep that, that Australia specialises in. We, we produce about, I suppose, 80% of the world's Moreno wool. The balance comes out of um, South Africa, New Zealand. Um, the particular thing about Moreno wool is it has a very high crimp. It's yep. particularly strong and it comes in very fine textures. You can go as far down as you can with cashmere, down to 10s, 11s and 12 micron. But you can go up to 25s, 24s, 25s, um, which have a higher tensile strength, but obviously are more bulky. When it comes to the use of, of, of fibre in sport, what you will have seen over the last two, three years, and, and it's been progressive, is an increasing merger of the influence or strengthening of the influence of uh, sport in fashion. Yeah. Uh, a classic case is if you, you would have seen last week that if you look at the men's trousers market, all of a sudden they've got track pants out there that, uh, yeah. that really, really focus on stretch and on you know, comfort. Um, when you go and look at the fibre that it consists of, doing that in a, in a poly, um, it's not going to be particularly comfortable in anyone, especially a poly with a fleece. But doing that in a wool or a wool blend allows that sort of casualness and comfort factor um, plus adds in the benefits of breathability, yep. stretch recovery, so it doesn't bag, it doesn't sort of stretch and loosen without uh, coming back. So for our, from our, our point of view, I think this, this rapid convergence of uh, sport and fashion is a really healthy indicator. We've got a number of projects. You, you'll have noticed that um, Nike have a thing called Woolfit, yeah. um, which is a base layer product which is incredibly comfortable. Icebreaker probably pioneered this market um, probably up to 10 years ago in terms of Marino base layer for ski. Um, what we're seeing now is we've got active projects with a number of sports brand Adidas, brands like that to try and bring a natural performance fibre into their range to enhance comfort and performance. It's also, um, I think it's the, the wool socks, like it doesn't smell, like can you talk it's about that? Uh, yeah. yeah, it's naturally antibacterial. It has high levels of UV resistance without needing to be coated with anything. Um, the antibacterial nature of it is it doesn't retain sweat, and sweat is what causes odour. So it, it, it's quite a sort of a, a very healthy um, alternative to, I guess, to the other fibres that might be uh, used in, excuse me, used, might be used in socks. Yeah. I think 
your campaigns are very innovative, capture the social media market, people are loving it. Um, what's been one of the most interesting campaigns of that for you so far? Well, what, if you look at the, I mean, we have a very broad range of promotional activities and they vary as much as the number of partners we're engaged with. There's a wonderful brand uh, down in Australia called MJ Bale. Uh, which is a menswear brand um, specialising in a mixture of classic suits and contemporary. And the fellow who, uh, who owns that company uh, and we worked together on a, on a great promotion um, where we essentially, what he did was he took um, from the Sydney cricket ground a, a set of piece of turf, a piece of uh, grass, and he had that propagated up in a place called Armadale and he actually grassed the paddock over. And then he took some sheep and he grazed the sheep on the uh, paddock and then the sheep were shorn and that wool was turned into suits. So the whole promotional thrust was grazed on greatness and it was this iconic sports ground that had really given rise to some of our best and, and obviously most notable athletes, especially if you're in Britain. Um, and that whole full cycle of being able to demonstrate that you know the, the fibre itself is grown on the grass, uh, sorry, it's, it's from the sheep grown on the grass that ultimately came from um, Famous city cricket ground. Now that was it was a great story, but it was also a very good um, commercial success. Okay. What we seem to be doing more and more of is working with brands to help them promote the product. Different aspects. Different brands will focus on different things. Um, the activity we do with Xenia has focused a lot on the sports and stretch, and, and you know, and obviously premium qualities there. Um, that's quite different from focusing on the raw ingredient that we do, perhaps with uh, Alora Piano, which is slightly different. Um, so depending on who the retailers are, they know their customers well and we really work with them to sort of help facilitate the role of the fibre in their sales. 